Hey, what's up? Good morning, y'all. This is gonna be day day four. I'm making my YouTube video. Uh, subscribe to Daddy Time, but I'm gonna change it to Adventure Time. And I left my wife that did it for me because I don't know how to do all those stuff. But other than that, I mean, I make some funny videos and stuff. Hope you all like that yesterday. You know, there's some silly stuff in me too, you know. I'm just being real with y'all right now, you know. You know, sugar coat, nothing. But as I came home today from the store this morning, my kids really gutted me. Like, it's sad, like, they really hurt me. Like, you know, because as the best father of five kids, I do my best, you know, to give them the good life they want, you know. Whatever they want, I get it for them, you know. Whatever they say, I listen to them, you know, and I give them the good advice, what a father, what a good father should. But that lazy stuff, that lazy, laziness will kill a person, will destroy a person's reputation. And it's not okay to be lazy, you know? And I definitely don't want them to fail next year, you know? Because I told them if you fail next year, People's gonna teach you. I mean, the students gotta teach you and stuff, you know? Because they're in a right grade and you're not, you know? And I try my best to do. I got the three little ones, you know, that I'm trying to make sure that they're okay, that, that they're wise enough, smart enough. Like, I don't talk to my kids like they're babies. I told them like they're like teenagers, you know? So they can learn fast, you know? And, my two oldest, I call my two oldest still sleeping and not on their um, class, on their laptop and not doing their work, you know? And I let them stay up, play the game, get, it, get on the tablet afterwards, you know, after the class. And I just don't know what I'm doing wrong, you know? So I started taking things from them, like the Xbox, their tablet, you know, as a punishment, you know, but it don't have to be that way. I guess kids can be kids, you know what I mean? Because I was a kid too one time and trust me, I used to go to class and just skip class and not come back till the whole school is over and then I would get spanked with a um, paddle, you know, because I grew up in the Philippines. And especially just me and my sister being the Negros, Negra, the only black people in my class, in my school. It didn't really bother me much because I see myself as one of them, them Asians. And, um, you know, because mirror wasn't really around. We only had one mirror and that mirror was on top of our living room. So nobody could barely see, you know, their self. In the bathroom, I, I didn't really go in the bathroom like that, you know. I mean, I used, I, I go in the bathroom to use the restroom and stuff to do number one and number two or take a shower and stuff. But other than that, I, I just never took my time to look at the mirror and worry about my skin color, you know. Because I was young, you know, I was only like, six seven years old you know we don't care about our skin colors and stuff like that but until i came to america and i remember being in third grade they showed us this um videos of history of what they did to our ancestors and that gutted me you know like wow like that's what they did to us like they uh did to my uh ancestors and stuff that really hurt me because i thought that everybody was being treated equally but I realized 